normally, normally on conferences you put the best uh, presentation after the break so people come on time, which obviously was not the case here. <coughs> but anyways, uh, I will pretend that I'm not disturbed by people who are entering. So just a short introduction. Marko Carević, I'm uh, now CEO of Ananas. I returned from uh, my, let's say, international career one, one plus year back. Uh, I spent most of my working life on Asian projects. I also lived five years in hardcore Asia, which is India, and I will be moving, so you will be having a hard time to take a picture. So <clears throat> today, because I know that you will hear a lot of interesting stuff, we actually decided to to reverse a little bit the logic and tell you some stuff which normally you don't hear on the conferences and also to give you exclusive right to do a sneak peek behind the scene and uh, what is happening actually when creating one of the largest e-commerce projects and ecosystem uh, for this region. So I hope video is on and uh, now there will be some video which will be, uh, let's say, simulating what I'm talking but uh, probably you should more focus on what I'm saying than uh, what you're seeing. So, speaking about the topic, it will be divided in three areas. So, most of the time what we talk about uh, on the conferences, you know, on a business dinners and so on, fancy stuff, then we will talk a little bit on what we actually do about it, and then the major part will be about what really matters. And uh, as I mentioned, I will try to to give you a really insightful stuff from our project, although it's just uh, two years, one year plus running, there are so many learnings that it looks like a, like a decade. So most of the time we talk about new things. We talk about artificial intelligence, chat GPT, we talk about real-time uh, offering, location-based promotions, uh, social commerce, and so on and so forth. And definitely this is something we should continue to do. What I feel a little bit coming from, you know, bigger markets and bigger projects uh, than this region is facing is that we tend to forget the rest. And I, this is where I see the challenge uh, for this region. It's not a problem to speak about this stuff. Definitely, you know, chat GPT and artificial intelligence will change how e-commerce is functioning. And uh, just recently I had a conversation with the founder of Faladin, which you probably never heard of. It's a uh, uh, fortune teller Aladdin. It's an application with 50 million plus monthly active users, which is doing fortune telling from a coffee cups. You know, this ancient Turkish coffee when you turn it around. So the guy made a business out of it with his mother as a first fortune teller, came to 50 million users, tens of thousands of fortune tellers, and now it's completely done by robots. Because now, if you download this Faladin application, your fortune will be told by AI, not by a grandma, reading the coffee for thousands of years, learning, trespassing from generation to generation. Uh, again, similar thing I saw in India, you know, augmented reality, we all know IKEA application, you can see the furniture and so on. On some market it doesn't work, you want to touch and to feel, and then everybody was saying there in India, you can't sell furniture online, it's too expensive, too robust, you need to try it first and so on. Then a bunch of cool guys came with the idea, okay, we don't need to change much actually. So when I was buying, it's called Pepper Fry, it's uh, more than a billion euro worth already for five years. Uh, so what they did, I wanted to buy a sofa, I selected it, I wanted to pay for it, it didn't allow. It told me, select another one. So I selected another one. I wanted to pay, no. Select another one. So what they do, they bring all three to my place, bring inside of the house first one, you sit, you touch, you feel, then they bring the second one, then they bring the third one, and you just need to buy one. If you don't, you obviously pay for delivery fee, that's it. So they sold, with a super simple solution, they sold a problem which is there from as long as the internet is there. We all know that furniture is not easy to be sold online, especially the expensive one. So this is how we are maybe over overcomplicating future and thinking technology will solve everything and so on. And if you were right, we would already be flying in a cars and, you know, having this conference on Colony on Mars. So, obviously, it's not the case. So, what do we actually do? I come from a product background, designing new stuff all my life. So, in reality, how it actually works, how it actually looks. You start from this idea, this top of the pyramid, and if you imagine it as a walk, up and 
to the mountain, right? And just to make it more fun, imagine that you are climbing the mountain in the dark and uh, aiming to reach the top for the sunrise. So whoever didn't do it, I strongly recommend. It's a great example and a business lesson because you see the peak, you see the top, right? And we spoke about the top, it's a big vision. I will be on top of the pyramid when the sunlight comes and it's gonna be amazing and so on. But somewhere in the middle, you realize it's a long walk and it's dark. So it's difficult. So another turn, another turn, you just thought it's done when you are out of the forest, then again and again. In reality, our product managers, they are in love with features, they overcomplicate stuff, they over-engineer stuff. Example from Ananas, we wanted a golden record. It means that when you go to Ananas, the product descriptions will be perfect. So we designed more than 2,000 templates for all categories in retail industry and all groups of products in each category. 2,000 templates, which you as a merchant, when you join Ananas, it's supposed to help you. Because no matter which business you do, you open the template for this business and it's just good fit for your business, right? If it's a cloth, it will have all the stuff which needs to be there for clothing. If it's about uh, consumer electronics, same way and so on. What happens in reality? A merchant opens and poof, 2,000 templates. And they immediately call our guy and say like, I'm not gonna open this again. Can I send you via email and you figure it out what you want to do? My computer is gonna explode. So, what we did, we had another project to simplify it. So now we are on 20 templates. And then we will very soon have another project to simplify it, to have one template. Because that's how product manager visualize the world. Everything will be perfect and we come, it's important feature. In reality, nobody cares most of the time. So what really matters in this region? What we learned by heart, by doing, by making a lot of mistakes and getting faster and faster uh, with learning curve and improving every day, every week, every month. So if I speak again about the pyramid or about the mountain, you are at the bottom on the basic needs, on the bottom, in the mud. So don't forget that. We still have a lot of mud when we speak about e-commerce in this region. If you compare it to any advanced market, I'm pretty sure you will agree with me. Ecosystem is very complex. When you're building a marketplace, you don't have a single regulator. It used to be so easy. I started in a telco industry, we had one regulator. Piece of cake, guys, piece of cake. Then banking, you have one or two. Again, piece of cake. Here, the ecosystem is so complex and it's so easy to forget about parts of the ecosystem. And if you don't see it, the entire one, I can have the best offer, the best prices. If the courier has a lousy service, my whole experience was broken. If my merchant canceled the order or was not fast enough to pack, I killed the experience. It doesn't matter that I have the best softwares in this region, right? So what I like to say about this ecosystem, half jokingly, but I really mean it seriously, we are all sinners. So there is no one guilty. You can't say regulation is wrong. You can't say merchants are not advanced. You can't say the providers are not, we are all guilty one. So again, just to give you an example from Ananas, uh, we have ecosystem. So we have career service retailers, e-commerce and so on and so forth. So we had some refrigerator in our warehouse and then another one and another one. And there was then all of a sudden 50 plus refrigerators. It's called problem solving area it was growing quite big. And it's, if it continued like that, we would need another warehouse just for a problem solving area. So what happened in reality? People forgot that when Toma, uh, my colleague Toma came, he's actually representing courier legal entity. He's not my ananas. I'm in a warehouse, so my job is in e-commerce. And then the guy who actually sold the goods, he's in a retailer, so it's three legal entities. So we really had to do exercise one day we came to the office, we all put our heads and we are saying we are now working just for courier service. So let's kick asses of these guys from retail, from e-commerce, what I want as a courier service. Then we, next day we came, we put heads of the retailer and the day after of e-commerce. And that's how complex it is. Even in the company where this is a DNA, right? 
Then we come to my favorite, the merchants. There are all kinds of merchants and we like to simplify it and to say we divide them based on two metrics, how much they know about e-commerce or they don't and how much they don't or want to work with us. So if I speak about those who don't want to work with us as a marketplace, but they know all about e-commerce, they have their own omni-channel and so on. So most of these guys, they see us as a competition. So for me, it's very simple when I tell them. Most of you have probably been to Belgrade. There is one area which is called Chumicevo Sokace. It's like old area where a bunch of small shops were. And then all of a sudden shopping malls came. So you had a choice. You could say, I don't want to go to Delta City, right? But there will be some traffic and some shopping happening there. And if you are not there, you for sure will not gain that part of the wallet. So this is most of the time the education which you are doing, trying to explain it's a, another channel. It's not a competition channel, it's another channel. Those who know and who want, I'm not going to mention even, there are already some merchants now doing more than 300k euros a month uh, via Ananas. Uh, growing, you know, hundreds of percent every quarter and so on. Those who don't want and don't know, they are the toughest one. They really don't see, they are, you know, like a hedgehog. In their comfort zone, they are afraid to move and so on. I always tell my conversation with one very smart guy, the owner of one company, and he said, you have 10 seconds, tell me, why do I need Ananas? I'm like, okay, so let me ask you three questions. Do you have a shop in Kraljevo? one small city, central Serbia. He's like, no. I'm like, do you sell in Kraljevo? He's like, no. And I'm like, why? And that's it, it's aha moment and then, so even that simple thinking is not there with some merchants. So that's why we are investing a lot in education and so on. So definitely this is just one example. We had another example uh, or many examples in those who want, they are sure it's gonna happen, but they don't really know how. Uh, so another conversation which I had with one of the owners of the company, he came to me after three months, I managed to convince him, he was first in the left box, he came, and then three months later he comes and he says, Marco, this doesn't work. I'm like, I agree, it doesn't for you. And then I show him the report of the same company, same size, same business, doing 16, 20 times more than they do. And then he's shocked. He's like, how? How, how, how? They, they're not smarter than us. I'm like, they're not. But they think about us as a channel. It's a different one. And if you check these videos behind me, it's, you can't sell a refrigerator if you don't put how big it is, like in centimeters. If you are in a shop, you stand next to it. And then I know I'm 185, and uh, you know, refrigerator is two meters. So, I don't need exact measurement. I can see if it fits or not. If I buy a perfume, you need a description. What type of flavor is it? Is it summer? Is it winter? If you want to sell pajamas, you need to you know, put the fabrics, you need to put whatever. So this is type of education we do all the time with these guys, but they are probably the easiest one because these guys want. They really want to learn, they want to do. And then when this guy goes back to his company, puts two fully dedicated resources on this, then it all starts working. And then the last one is the customers. We probably work in a good company, we are surrounded with people who buy online, no big, we mentioned cash economy and so on, I will not go that detail there, but I'll give you one example which is connected to previous two things. When we were, Ananas is known for a good delivery. We invested heavily in a warehouse, in the processes, 97% of all orders are delivered the next working day if they go from our warehouse, which is already a level of Allegro, Amazon and so on. We wanted to bring it to the next level initially. So we went and tested different concepts. Do you want to schedule a time slot? Do you want to see in real time when the courier lives with your package, where he is, how he is moving, so you can inform him if you went to the shop so he can deliver 100 meters you know, further away and so on and so on. And the guy's like, what are you talking about? Just extend the delivery time for two hours so you can deliver when I'm at home after work. It's that simple. Like, don't sell me that rocket science application, navigation, tracking, and so on, right? And it helped us a lot, really. We, we saved a lot of IT resources, changes in the processes, and so on. Just strengthened further our core, our base. We removed the mud from the main friction point. 
That's how you get a net promoter score of 90 plus in this, uh, in this area. So I'll just conclude. I know it was fast. Maybe I threw too many examples. But if I conclude, I just want to tell you that speak about those big things, new things which are coming. It's exciting. It will keep your people motivated and so on. Don't forget the mud. Don't forget the base. And don't forget it's not one company job. Don't forget it's not one regulator job. It is actually job of all of us together to change this environment, to change this ecosystem so everything can work uh, smoothly and we can finally reach you know, the place of more advanced markets and more advanced experiences which we have in other markets. So we have five more minutes for questions, I guess, because it was 20 minutes. So that's it, I'm spot on. Thank you. Any questions? I will pass the microphone. Okay, I will go then. Hi, Marco. Uh, just a question. Uh, does Ananas have... Okay, thanks. Uh, any plans to expand further the region? Or are you satisfied now with the Serbian market only? So this, just to be brutally honest, in any market which you look in the world, which is big one, even the small ones, there are two players which are dominating the market. Why is that? This business is very expensive, although it doesn't look like that. It's an infrastructure business. It's a business where unit economic counts. Our markets, every single one on its own, is too small. Too fragmented and that's probably the reason why no big player came and already conquered it all so the answer is not yes or no it's a must if you want this business model to succeed unit economic counts so our main KPI when we are discussing and so on is not how to do something cheapest how to do something smartest or it's how to do it fastest because more you grow, more you need, because it's a network business. Just remember that, it's a network business. Every new buyer is one reason more for a seller to be with us. Every new seller which is with us is one reason more for a buyer to come. So it's really all about unit economics. We, are op we already acquired a company in Macedonia. There will be a launch in two weeks, plus minus few days. Uh, and of course, we are not stopping. So we are looking into the entire region. It was set like that from the beginning. So definitely Serbia was just a start. And we learned a lot. It's also, it also counts. So every next market will be better and better and faster and faster.